An Eyewitness News exclusive now promises top cop sits down one-on-one -on -one to talk about the capital city's recent wave of deadly violence. Two shootings and two beatings in just the last eight days. And seven months into the year, Providence already has 11 homicides, two short of last year's total. So we want to know what's being done to prevent more violence on city streets. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us live with details. Like every chief of an urban center, Chief Esserman expects crime to increase in the summer. He says with the help of federal stimulus dollars, you'll be seeing more officers in the neighborhoods. Did the last eight days catch you by surprise? I think they'd catch any police. I think it would catch any police officer. I don't know if surprise is the right word, but any police chief who's had four murders in eight days in their community has to be shocked. Even though they're not related, this is not a gang warfare going on where one kid shooting another and then it's payback. That's not what these murders are about. Today, Colonel Esserman walked the neighborhood of Sunday night's homicide. He's been in touch with the victim's family. Even though crime is down, even though the murders are down over the years here, that doesn't mean much to a mother when I have to tell her her lost her son. Doesn't mean much at all. He says they've already dedicated nearly one million dollars in federal stimulus money to increase police officer overtime. We think cops count. We think an officer makes a difference. And we're spending our money for officers to work longer hours in their neighborhoods. Esserman and Mayor David Cicilline met late this afternoon, a meeting called by the mayor to brief him on the uptick in violence, but the chief says there won't be much the mayor doesn't already know. I brief the mayor on all major cases. He insists on being woken up. I wake him up whenever there's an act of violence. I'm going to tell him that staying the course I think works. That uh, this is a department that for six and a half years has been focused on bringing crime down. The colonel says the increase in overtime will go to both patrol and investigative services. They are also working with the state and federal authorities in their gang task force. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. And you can watch the entire one-on-one exclusive interview with Colonel Dean Esterman on our website at WPRI.com.